2024 is a big year for the Buckeye State. On April 8th, a total solar eclipse will cross North America, passing over Mexico, through the United States, and into Canada. All of Ohio will have the chance to witness a partial eclipse of up to 95%, with a 124-mile-wide band of the state getting the rare opportunity to witness solar eclipse totality. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon lines up with the sun in precisely the right orientation to block the sunlight and cast a shadow onto the Earth. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon appears to obscure the sun completely. How rare is it for an event like this to come through our state? The last total solar eclipse to pass through Ohio was in 1806, and the next is not projected to happen until 2099. With April right around the corner, ensuring students and staff are safe during this once-in-a-lifetime event should be a priority. Whether your school day coincides with the eclipse or students will already be dismissed, being prepared for a safe and memorable eclipse is key for schools and districts. This map shows the path that will cross over the state, with the blue shade representing the areas experiencing totality and the yellow areas representing partial eclipse. The partial phase will begin at 2 p.m. and will last until around 4.30 p.m., affecting nearly all Ohio school dismissals in some way. Safety precautions may include preparing students, especially those walking or driving home, riding the bus, or being picked up by a family member or friend, with protective eyewear to ensure student safety during the eclipse. The eclipse also may bring many guests and tourists to Ohio. A good plan will prepare your district for bus delays, road closures, student pickup, and eclipse viewers attempting to use school lawns for viewing. Another important factor to consider is traffic from eclipse tourism in your area. Traffic is expected to be extremely heavy leading up to, during, and following the totality, which occurs slightly after 3 p.m. Traffic into and out of the totality zone could affect locations in partial viewing zones of the state as well. Each district throughout the state is going to have different challenges for this solar eclipse. Having a solid plan for your district, staff, and students will lead to a safe and exciting eclipse experience for your community. For more information on how to make the best decisions for your staff and students, contact your local emergency management agency for guidance. For more facts and information on the solar eclipse or resources and tips to prepare for the event, please visit eclipse.ohio.gov.